Let's go ahead and do a card reading specifically for Twin Flames to see what is going on for the Twin Flame Collective, for the Divine Feminine, for the Divine Masculine. Today we have a Libra Moon, which is square, Venus in Capricorn. This is huge for your love life and partnerships. You might feel like you've been tested or challenged a little bit going into, we'll say the first half of this week or moving into the first half of this week. You most certainly have. Things are coming up for healing and for clearing, so there's more work to be done. But this is an amazing alignment that can help you to shift into a deeper alignment, balance, and harmony energetically as well too. But we're gonna start and we're gonna pull some cards for the Divine Feminine. Before we get started though, we do have several planets in Capricorn right now, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. They're also forming a square with the lunar nodes. This is huge for fate and destined alignments. And I'll tell you what I told someone I think it's kind of relevant as we are seeing destined themes play out so you can expect plot shifts. Now, I like to think of there are certain fated events that are gonna happen in our life. These are the planned out experiences. Like usually I see they're the negative karmic challenges. And if you look back over the course of your life, you have certain events or experiences that were fated to happen. Sometimes we think of a fate as a negative way. These are usually the karmic things that have to play out. This is many, many lifetimes of karma that you're experiencing that are coming up for clear. Sometimes we might look at these as challenging events. So this is the faded events that will play out. Now destiny is what you're gonna make of your life. Oftentimes we don't shift into our full destiny until a little bit later in our life because we had to clear all of those karmic challenges. We're at an amazing space where collectively we're here to create a new earth experience or shift into fifth dimensional frequencies where hopefully you guys have cleared a lot of that stuff and if you're learning how to live in a deeper alignment and balance, you won't have those same challenges that are playing out. So today's energies are all about what is coming up for healing and where you're at in your love life. Now this is a twin flame reading, but everyone should be working on healing their love life regardless of where you're at with that. But we're gonna go ahead and pull some cards for the Divine Feminine. We see a lot of inner child challenges have led to a lot of people with insecure attachment styles. This is like how, how secure are you in your connections, right? Okay, so we have a lot of, we'll say with the twin flame journey, it can trigger these deeper insecurities, fears, doubts, and worries that you probably didn't even notice that you had until you go into your twin flame experience. But we're gonna do a nice spread first for the Divine Feminine. I'm doing healings and activations today on my website, so it's a good time to find me. Make sure you're doing energy healing sessions. You should be really working on your chakras and your energy during this time. This will help you to raise your frequency and integrate into these fifth dimensional frequencies. It'll also help to heal your love life, your relationships, your finances, and other things like that. So make sure you guys are doing some type of energy work, especially to deal with all of the stuff that the energies are pushing up. So we are going into February. I know I'm a little soon today, right? But we're going into 10 back-to-back -back galactic activation porthole days in a row. Yesterday, we had a huge radiation storm that we're still kind of, I wanna say in the middle of, right? We're still in the middle of. This means a lot energetically means we're going through a lot of upgrades right now. It means that a lot of stuff is coming to the surface. Not only do we have themes around love coming up, but we also have themes around karmic justice. This might be your past. You need to integrate and clear more. This could be fears and energy blocks, negative blocks from the past too that are kind of coming up in these energies. Lots coming up in relationships right now too. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do a relationship reading for the Divine Feminine to start. What's going on for the Feminine Collective? We'll start with the, these cards I made. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some more, but... And I, I sat this way because it's getting some nice light, like lots of orbs, right? I don't know. But check out if you guys see any orbs again, too. I'm seeing so many orbs flying around. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were the one. There is a strong magnetic pull between twin flames. Probably this person won't make sense to you. In fact, your ego is probably like, no, not my type. But I talk about your usual type usually being toxic, but this person may even look like 
the person you had in mind. They probably fit lots of um, criteria, but it's more about how it feels. You're gonna be super magnetized to this person, like literally a soul pole. You can't get enough of them. You wanna be around them all the time. And it's like a strong energetic pull because it, you share such a soul piece with them that literally you're being pulled to them. This is why twin flames can have a very magnetic push-pull effect on each other as well too. When we see runner-chaser dynamics, which can be common, is pushing away. There's some type of repel happening. Usually it's from your own negative thoughts. So when you stay in the positive thoughts, you're very magnetic to your twin flame. If you're seeing yourself or them in a negative light, it will very much repel them away. This is to help you with your ascension work on so many levels. But this is also destined connection. There are bigger things that are playing out over the course of your life or in the background of your life. This is one of these things. Every person has a twin flame. It just kind of depends on where you're at in your life or your spiritual path as to when you'll draw this connection to you. But you're gonna know who this person is probably the second you see them or lay eyes on them or by how it feels. You'll probably be thinking about them an awful lot. Now, I was telling someone that usually the separation is gonna happen. Most people haven't attained a high enough frequency to avoid it. And um, a lot of times you guys go into these separations. They're very triggering. They trigger a lot of abandonment issues, rejection, inner child wounds. And of course, they happened because of your own healing. I say crisis, right? And healing work that needs to be done. If you're in a separation, look at this like you're in the cocoon. This is a space where you should be going deep and doubling down on your healing work. Do a ton of energy healing, clear your chakras, and really work on your patterns and your inner beliefs. This is why you're probably gonna need someone to help you through the process that's good at it. That's what I do too. I help you guys out of these spaces, whether you're just looking to heal your connection, looking to heal your love life, looking to raise your frequency, doing your ascension. I help people with their spiritual ascension, but I've been doing a lot of twin flame work as well too. So make sure you guys are checking out my website. I always say to start with a twin flame reading. It's gonna help you a ton specifically with your set situation. And you guys can be doing these sessions as often as you want. They're all gonna be different and they're gonna help you with clearing patterns, limiting beliefs, really seeing the big picture and getting more clarity. And they're going to help you through the healing work. But I also recommend doing energy healing sessions with me too, because they're going to help a ton as you're moving through this process. So if you need me, book me on my website. I have activations and healings up specifically for twin flames. I have a twin flame section in my website. Do some energy healing, looking to level up spiritually to activate more of your gifts. Make sure you guys are doing more of those healing and activations too. If you're in a separation, make sure you're doing the twin flame coaching. This is going to help you a ton. It'll also help you just if, for the people that are looking to heal their inner child. Like I see a lot of people that continue to have the relationship patterns and they think the next partner is going to be it without healing and it gets worse and worse. So if you're having um, not the best time in your love life, or if you're in a twin flame situation separation, make sure you guys are booking the twin flame coaching. It's gonna help you a ton with shifting your situation and healing yourself so that you can attract healthy love or attract your twin flame back to you. So make sure you guys are checking out my website. I always say if you just want confirmation on this connection or to know more about it, just book a reading on there. The readings are just a 30 minute phone call, but they'll help you a ton. Like I said, you can do these sessions as often as you want. I know you're the one, and this can be hard to wrap your mind around. Sorry, I'm checking out all these little orbs. Okay, they are the one, like the one. We talk about it. This is like you'll have a lot of different connections you're going to navigate. Now, most of the time, a lot of your past connections were based out of karma, and this is not good. It's inner wounding patterns and even actual karma that you owe out. Some of these might have been past life contracts or attracted in this lifetime based on some of the things that have played out or some of your actions and things like that. Um, this is important too, to know this is the person that is the one. It will never work out with anyone else. You're gonna have other relationships if you have things to be worked out. Our relationships help us to work out through certain things we have to work through with another. Oftentimes there are a lot of karmic baggage. Now the mistake is, is you guys are used to the soulmate and karmic partnerships before coming together with your twin flame and sometimes you have a high level of karmic baggage that's unhealed. Karmic baggage is all the unhealed stuff that you've been carrying around. It's all those sad stories, old timelines, hurts, pains, wounds, right? That you guys have been unloading on your partner 
And when you try to do that, because you're used to doing the trauma dumping, and when you try to do that with your twin flame, they simply run away and go away and leave you to unpack that baggage on your own. So it's very important that you're healing any type of karmic baggage, inner child issues, stuff still affecting you, things keeping you in a low frequency state, or things even blocking your spiritual connection. This is all really, really important because this person is the one However, you're becoming having to become the one to really stay in these high frequencies with your twin flame as they are the ultimate mirror. And this is the thing too. They're always playing out. And sometimes it isn't like the physical mirror where you're looking in the mirror. It's actually a mirror to your thoughts. And this is important too because you're having to check how you're seeing yourself and how you're seeing other people because your twin flame is going to show you that on a deeper level. So oftentimes they are triggering if you haven't done the shadow work or if you're not in a higher frequency or if you have things blocking your love life or blocking you from love, these things certainly will come up. But this is meant to be your destined ultimate partner. You're never meant to stay in separation energy. You're supposed to master that so you can be in a beautiful, long-lasting, lifelong union with this person. Oftentimes, twin flames, when they find each other, they're not leaving each other, <laughs> like, right? They're very, we talked about that magnetic pole and being attracted to them on so many levels. Just know that. You need to work on raising your frequency to come back together and to work on your energy. Your twin flame is to motivate you to do that because maybe you haven't been doing the ascension work like you should. Now, everyone thinks they're awake lately, but there are many aspects of yourself that you still need to tap into and awaken on a deeper level. There are things you need to be shown and to see about yourself and this connection is doing that. So maybe you thought you were perfectly awake and healed and this person came along and maybe they push some of these buttons they're not from this person. These are the things, these are the buttons I always say your parents installed when you were a kid, right? And or they could be unconscious programs, things that your parents installed in you and things like that. They need to clear, they need to come up. So oftentimes when you're in a twin flame connection, it's all about, it isn't just about shifting into this union, it is. But in order to get to these higher frequencies, you have to clear all of those lower frequency energies that you've been carrying around for a lot of time. I see a lot of people that are very emotionally avoidant, avoidant of doing the healing work. They don't like to go into these painful areas doing the healing. And then since they're unhealed, they go into these relationships and everything is being triggered. They can't handle it, breakups, bad, sad stories and things like that. So it's very important that you are also doing the healing work, the energy work, and the shadow work. Otherwise, you're going to continue to have karmic experiences play out in your love life. So we have a lot coming up about clearing lower energies. Twin flames came here to anchor into higher frequencies on planet Earth. So it's important that you're also doing a lot of clearing work. Now, you, you won't be done with this. <laughs> like I was telling someone, as long as you're on Earth... You are going to continue to work on yourself and grow as a soul and also work on your healing journey. And life is nothing but a healing journey too. So when you double down and when you start to do a lot high level of energy work and clearing work, you don't have to get all of those awful lessons on earth. <laughs> like you can kind of begin to be like, okay, I should be healing myself. So oftentimes a lot of your path is simply to wake you up to get your, to focus on healing yourself and to changing on some level. When you're doing the energy work, it will save you from a lot of awful lessons you may be getting elsewhere because you're doing that work on yourself and not needing the universe to kind of motivate you to get there as well too. So with Twin Flames, it's like you'll be fine and another layer will come up. In fact, when you guys are in those love bubble states and feeling real high, it pushes lower energies and karmas to the surface. If the other and each one has their own baggage, things are going to come up, right, with you and your partner. So it's all about clearing lower energies. I will wait for you, and there is no one else. And I said it's kind of like when you meet your twin flame, you're not able. If you meet your true twin flame, I don't think you're able to really go date other people. I see people that try because I have a lot of twin flames I work with. And I see it, but I think that they'll kind of come back to the same space after a while, whether that connection was just another karmic lesson that hurt their feelings or didn't go good. Because we know karmics oftentimes don't love you. Like you're trying to love them and they're unavailable partners or, you know, they're not meant for you and they hurt you in some way, blow you off, reject you more. Or what I'm seeing is they hit the same wounds that you didn't want to heal or face with your twin flame. So a lot of people run from their twin flame because they're 
hitting painful areas that they don't want to face, they go try to be with a karmic and the same stuff comes up because you're having to move through certain healing work and healing lessons in your life. So you'll know that you're meant to be with this person. And if you're in a separation, a lot of people want to go date because it's a way to not face things, right? It's a way that a lot of time avoidant types like to not do the work and to kind of fill those voids. So and I, I could talk addictions all day. I'm not going to, but this is like addictions can come in many forms. I know people that overeat and fill that with food, buying material things, shopping, ways that you guys have learned to make yourself feel better. And dating kind of goes in that category. But once you've been made aware that this is your twin flame, I always say the only way out is in to go through, right? go within. So we also have a lot of Pluto and Aquarius tones today. And this is about the inner state, the inner work coming up too. It also could be letting go of dead ends and things that you've outgrown in your life. So this is like January 2024 and we're getting ready to wrap it up. But a lot of times this is the shattering. <laughs> this is the getting ready to pick up your pieces again because you've seen just what these energies have done just moving into the new year, right? And so we're trying to get back on track. Now, the good news is that we have a lot of planets that are helping us focus on healing our relationships, love life, and even our long-term goals right now. We'll come together once fully healed. So this is why you do wanna do the energy work because it's gonna help speed up the process. If you're doing nothing, you stay stuck in limbo because it's your thoughts and patterns that have created or manifested any separation. The best thing we can do is try to shift to a more positive mindset too, because this is gonna help us. Your thoughts are becoming things within the real world, especially your situation. So whatever you're thinking are becoming your outer situations and circumstances. Oftentimes it's how you've been seeing your situation that has gotten you in this mess if you're in separation because you're off your path. Separation indicates out of alignment and off your path. So needing to shift into an energy alignment to shift the outer always. I need more time to process my feelings. And this is important too because we talked about needing to allow the, all of these feelings to surface. So what happens when you have a lot of negative thoughts come up? Because you're needing to constantly work on your energy. You have a lot of negativity come up in your life in the outer. This is a representation of the inner as well too. Lots of negative thoughts equal negative energies needing to clear that. Negative energies weigh us down. They block us from union and they create energetic blocks. So if you've had a lot of negative thoughts or negativity come up, we call that purging and we better get used to that, right? That term, right? This is what's happening as we're moving up in frequency on planet earth everything comes to the surface and we're purging not every day thank god but we're purging in cycles as baggage is coming up so that's why we're needing to also continue to clear our energy as we're rising up in frequency this will help you to stay in a higher frequency or you get weighed down by it all right so we have we do have reconciliation energy coming at us, which is really good that you're meant to heal and shift into union. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I always talk about a lot of people don't get the twin flame experience until you've been through it because it's very much such a powerful connection that a lot of people aren't going to understand it. Like I said, that's my biggest pet peeve with it too. And the only reason I'm so good at it is because I really pay attention, <laughs> right? Going when I went through it, I was going through certain phases of it and working with people, right? I'm studying this stuff and taking notes. So I got really, really good at this. But I've noticed that a lot of people, your friends and family and other people, they may not be on a twin flame journey. And you might get some really bad advice about it that can keep you stuck even more. Pay attention because not everyone may get what you're going through. This is something that's going to affect you on so many interdimensional levels you're probably thinking of this person dreaming of this person connecting with them there's of course the physical 3d connection too just know that all right so we do have your programming has blocked this connection <clears throat> for those in separation in some way or in union where it's not taking off the way you would like and this is your programs and your patterns and your beliefs and this is being affected by your upbringing also codependency this could be addiction or patterns but it also could be your addiction to relationships i talk about i wrote several books right and i talk a lot about the love avoidant and the love addict in one of them right i write about this toxic combination 
and things like that. But this is codependency. That is the love addict. But oftentimes you guys haven't even mastered yourself and are not taking care of yourself good. So your twin flame may be showing you these patterns, especially if you're needing to spend a little bit of time working on yourself. Separation means that you have more things that you need to work on and you're not ready. It's all about breaking attachment issues, codependency, and even addiction. So just kind of know that too. All right, so we have a lot happening. Some of you might be separated by actual distance. This could be not a lot of communication, living in different places, or even living in different countries, right? It could be different city, but it also could just be the distance between you. Sometimes you guys are feeling the pullbacks or not a lot of communication, or you know, you go from the love bubble to maybe the separation. It could indicate that too. If you guys have someone somewhere else, expect to travel and to be with this person at a certain point, and this is a lot. So. We have a lot of new energies coming into this year as well too. Some of you guys might want to be traveling and seeing different places and this can kind of manifest in different ways, especially as we have this shift into the 5D that's happening. That's what's important on planet Earth during this time. You're being guided to get healthy, to eat better, to take care of yourself, right? I say do vitamins and things like that. It's gonna help you a lot as you're integrating into the higher frequencies, but most importantly, do energy work if you're not you're gonna have a hard time with some of these ascension shifts. So some of the things that are common are ascension symptoms. We call these um, like ascension flu, right? You might be feeling it on a physical level, detoxing from the body. Um, it could be purging um, or even ascension symptoms. These indicate blocks and needing to work on those areas, but some of you guys are really used to anxiety, no sleep, depression, and some of the physical symptoms that you're feeling in your body when you need to do some type of clearing work if you are having ascension symptoms this will help you with clearing the things that are kind of will say blocking up your energy and oftentimes when we wake up we were not doing energy work when asleep and this is where the real work starts as well too the real spiritual work so you begin to work on your energy you take time to heal to learn how to heal and to really focus on this stuff a lot of you guys are sitting on some powerful gifts and that I, the ones that aren't doing the healing, many of you guys are healers. And it is through healing yourself that you'll learn how to heal others. And so if not doing the ascension work, you guys are kind of sitting on your gifts too. So when you are healing, it's going to help to activate new gifts and things like that. All right, we talked about having a strong magnetic attraction to this person. This might feel like a risky connection though. Like you're having to like put it all on the line. You know, you've had to clear a lot of energy and let go of a lot of people, but this is heightening your intuition. When you're around your twin flame, you're going to be having heightened intuition, clairvoyance, new abilities coming through and things like that. There's going to be some communication that's happening, especially as we're moving into February and we have a lot of this energy playing out with Mercury. This is going to be getting people because Mercury on the fourth is about to shift into Aquarius. And this is all about communication, but we're going into the mental. We're in Aquarius season. It's all about mental connection. Some of you guys might be having heightened dreams, experiences in the dreams with your twin flame, but you're most certainly being guided to open up and kind of get honest and have heart to heart connections. This will help. You're both going through different things on each side, even though you think you're having this shared experience, you definitely are but you each have your own baggage that you're working on and what you're getting out of this experience. So sometimes when you do open up and share what you're going through when it comes to the healing, this will help a ton with your twin flame connection. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This can indicate your twin flame, but this is being practical, patient, and responsible. Have common sense, take your time. This also indicates that your twin flame is watching you all the time, <laughs> right? I always say that. Especially if you guys are checking out their social media, trying to see what they're doing, right? They're always doing that to you as well too. But this is also looking after you in the higher. Remember that in the future, you're already together. So this is also higher self connection with their higher self that is helping you through your journey to get where you need to be um, always. We also have another King of Pentacles, which is also your twin flame coming through. This is wealth and security, but this is also needing to put in the work. So we also sometimes while we're doing this manifestation energy, we need to make things happen. We need to make sure we're putting in the work and we know what that work is because our angels and spirit guides and higher self are always 
gently encouraging us and nudging us along the path. You're getting a lot of signs, sense of direction. Hopefully you're connecting with source more and your intuition and opening up more, but this is also putting in the work. As we've talked about, Four of Swords, this is also taking time to heal your and heal your heart, but this is like rest before restarting. This is needing to focus on your healing. You have a lot of negative thoughts that are still coming up that may be blocking you for union or even from your full potential. Taking the space to heal right now. <clears throat> and we have Tent of Pentacles, and this is um, money coming to you and security. Sometimes this could be healing and manifesting secure attachment and getting rid of the insecurities and the blocks that have been messing up and <clears throat> sabotaging your relationships. If you look back, right, you probably learned some lessons like, oh, don't do that again in your relationships. But this can also can indicate money coming to you. And this is a good sign, especially if you've been struggling or stressed out or challenged in areas of finances. Healing yourself, healing your energy is supposed to open you up for more money. Blocked up, your finances might be too, right? Flowing, your finances should be too. Last card, Page of Wands reversed. And this is like delayed news. And this could be maybe you've been putting off your goals and needing to focus on yourself right now. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys, by the time you met your twin flame, you've been in so many relationships that you haven't even had time for that relationship with yourself. And if you're in separation, it's because you messed up your union. And if you met this person and didn't come into union, and so you're needing to really step back, pause from relationships and work on your relationship with yourself and your energy as your relationship for yourself is not just the foundation for your twin flame. It's also the foundation for how you are with yourself. And that's going to reflect in all of your relationships, especially a twin flame relationship too. So we have a lot of, maybe the divine feminine was in a lot of connections or focusing too much on other people and not on yourself and your own journey and your own path, breaking those codependent dynamics make sure you're focusing on yourself your goals and your healing that's like everything that's come up in this reading for you guys really double down on your healing divine feminine this is how you lead your divine masculine into union as well too because they'll start to take better care of themselves as you are all about um coming into a deeper energetic alignment for this read now we're gonna do a quick reading for the Divine Masculine. I just wasn't awake enough for our connection yet. You're waking me up. And we talked about, we all think we're awake, but <laughs> the healing that's kicked up shows otherwise, right? Okay. How you guys might have been acting with each other, shadows, egos, things like that. So the universe has shown you that you need to wake up more. And it could just be you know, being more observant of things, healing yourself. So these are areas that you need to heal and awaken. One in the same. This connection is waking you up more, Divine Masculine. I feel your energy around me all the time. Some of you guys are suffocating for your masculine, the feminines, right? Some of you guys are so, the Divine Feminine, hyper-focused on your masculine. You're feeding all of your energy to your twin flame all day long. And if you're in a separation, you don't want to do that because they don't need to even come near you. They're just draining you from far away when you put in all your focus on them. So actually, the best thing to do in separation for either is to pull back and move your energy inward. How many times are we focused on everything outside of ourselves all day long? When we go ahead and we do enlightenment, we learn to shift that energy focus and that gaze within and do the inner work. And when you do that, whatever's going on in your separation, maybe the other person needs to awaken, go through an ego death, right? <laughs> Clear blocks, heal. They're able to do that. But if they're always focused on your energy you're feeding to them, sometimes it's actually delaying the process. Divine masculine can feel the feminine all of the time. This might be them popping into your head constantly. Are you always thinking of this person at certain times? And that's because the feminine's thinking of you. So I always say when they're popping into your head, when you're unable to kind of move on, you can't focus on anything but the other person, you're feeling your ener their energy around you all of the time. That's because it certainly is. I'm having a hard time letting go of my old life. This is for the masculine. You're needing to release and let go of your 3D reality. This is like the deepest spiritual work we will do and why so many people take so many years to do ascension because we're having to let go of, I say, the earthly attachment slowly. 
people, places, situations, things that we've grown really comfortable with, the more that you're doing this clearing work in your life and healing yourself, the more you'll raise up into the 5D, it opens up and you see more of these timelines or you ascend into these timelines. This is important too. So sometimes this is karmic situations or even people in your past. Needing to clear and release karmic energies, masculine. Things just got too intense too fast and hopefully intense in a good way. But sometimes it gets intense and not a good way when all of this unhealed stuff comes up as well too. It just kind of depends. But probably you fell in love with this person immediately or very quickly. And they got past all your defenses and your guard. And this is meant to be a good thing, <laughs> right? But sometimes it can get a little too intense too fast. Just know that. I want to start over with you. So a lot of times we're not going back because some people are looking at the back, but we're going to do this new beginning and reconciliation, reunion, union energy for those that are twin flames that are doing the healing work, not doing the work, expecting reunion, union, it'll go the same way. Your same patterns, blocks, behaviors will come up, creating the same situations over and over and over again in your life until you heal. So if you're in a separation, you're needing to do the healing work. So a lot of people just kind of sit there and they're like waiting for there to inflame or the universe, divine intervention, and it's, it's not moving. And it's like you have to do the work. And so it's important that you are doing the healing work in separation. So if you guys want that new beginning energy to come at you, it will when you're ready energetically. Our souls speak the same language that you and I only get. This is like having certain synchronicities that are just between you and your twin flame. So each twin flame, right? Maybe they're doing their own thing. If you're in union or in separation, really doing your own thing. And you're gonna see certain signs, symbols, synchronicities, and messages that remind you of this person that only the two of you would get. And it's like that. Like I was having, a lot, I'm having a lot of medium shit messages coming through. And because I am a medium, I'm a psychic medium, and I was having like a lot of messages come through, and I try to tell people they just don't get it, right? They're just like, but I get these messages, I get them loud and clear, whether they're messages from the afterlife, your twin flame, spirit, source, whatever. You're getting a lot of messages, and maybe it's only you're understanding them, and that's okay. We call this synchronicity the coincidences that are happening, the patterns, right? So maybe you're putting together more of the patterns, the dots, the connections in your life. And it could be something so simple like, you know, your twin flame works here and suddenly you're seeing all these type of workers or they have this type of car and you're seeing it or things like that. So you'll get a lot of messages through the universe. This could be in music, things that you're seeing, dreams, synchronicities and signs. Okay, there's a strong chemistry here. We talked about this, <laughs> like, right? And you know it, you feel it. And it's something that you have to feel with that magnetic attraction. You might not be able to make sense of why you're so inexplicably drawn to this person, but you are. Now, we have this beautiful reunion, union energy. But in order to get there, you're needing to disconnect and free yourself from certain things. This is your patterns, bad habits, and old energies that you've been carrying around that inexplicably your twin flame is triggered in some type of way, this healing work. Time to really step into your power through doing this ascension work. Needing to heal family issues. This is huge. This is where all of your things come from. This is past life karma in a nutshell, inner child healing all rolled into one. But it's also where a lot of your patterns and programs came from. And a lot of this is intergenerational where, you know, your parents did it the same way their parents did it and vice versa. And you picked up a lot of bad habits from your family line alone, needing to clear your ancestral patterns and beliefs and habits that you picked up. Needing to heal your connection between you and your parents. Oftentimes you're doing this work within yourself, but needing to release and heal any type of inner child issues. A lot of you guys don't even realize until you meet your twin flame, the high level of issues you have until you go through some type of jealousy, breakup, insecurity that triggers all of this stuff. And you're gonna notice that, right? The shadow work, the healing, the things that have come up, the purge of negative energies, needing to really heal those things and to give this relationship a chance, time to work on your connections, time to work on your partnerships. It's very, very important. You want a beautiful union, you have to build it. Okay, so we also have addiction. This is clearing it. Bad habits and toxic attachments for the masculine. Oftentimes, this is like 
drugs, alcohol from the past that have left attachments and um, distortions in your programming, needing to really look at your unhealthy coping mechanisms, as we said, and to heal these things. Once again, family stuff is coming up. Some of you guys might have kids or it just could be inner child healing, things from your ancestral line, things going down the family line or even generational karma or patterns that you need to clear because that's what it is, is the family curses are simply negative patterns that you've picked up and beliefs that you continue to manifest from your internal programming that we need to kind of heal as well too. Masculine being guided to do some more inner child healing work. This is going to lead you to union. This is supposed to be marriage, the one doing everything with this person. Okay, we have a lot of storms we're going to go into. We're going to go into a lot of galactic energy when you guys see me, right? Okay, we have a lot of galactic energy we're moving through. We're still in a storm. You guys might be feeling the planet's getting tossed about, right? <laughs> like maybe sleep issues, you know, things heightening, things coming to the surface, feeling things a lot more. And then it's all about how you're feeling inside because these energies amplify your inner state. Having a challenging day, it's going to get real bad, feeling really good, it's going to feel real good. That's why the inner work comes in to make you feel better. That's where I come in too as an energy healer. I make you guys feel better, right? And that's like priceless in these energies because we need to feel good in them to be able to manifest better as well too. It's all about working on your inner state. Expect some type of messages to happen. This could be text message, communication, phone call. But for sure, and I had this for the other side, but for the masculine, they're checking out your social media, right? Divine Feminine might be kind of having stalker tendencies and looking at your social media, right? You could just be checking out your pictures, looking at you, seeing if you're posting stuff. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Masculine might be feeling a little bit drained, and this is like having too many walls up. Fight or flight mode. This is ways that we talked about avoidance is fight or flight. It's flight out of here, not facing it, right? And so this is also letting your walls down and needing to face certain things that have been brought up from your twin flame and from the journey, the healing work is gonna continue. So needing to do some type of energy clearing. If you're feeling tired, need a boost in your energy. Oftentimes you guys are doing a lot of work or it could be healing work, actual work and things like that. Putting a lot of energy out, you might need to recharge. Hit me up for some Reiki. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords. This is your Divine Feminine, but coming in reversed, not letting go of the past. And this is like holding on to the past. There's things that your Divine Feminine needs to clear from the past. This could indicate karma is still at play with them. If they have karmic situations they're involved in or have been in in the past that they're trying to wrap up, it could be actual external. They're in karmic situations with other people or it could just be internally. They're processing a lot and needing to let go of the energies of the past and to heal a lot. We have your twin flame coming through again in the Empress energy. Abundance, beauty, femininity, sensuality. And this can, I always talk about this being the divine mother card as well too. And this is also tapping into your emotions, tapping into your own inner feminine energies. This is when you guys come into balance, it activates and unlocks beautiful things in those unions where you guys are going to heal, heal other people, generate beautiful energy, the masculine and the feminine, especially the divine masculine and feminine as they should be together. Amazing things start to happen. Now, karmic partners show us your problems. Yeah, I know there was probably a lot of negative stuff in your past karmic relationships if you get honest with yourself. They're here to help you work out issues within yourself and to show you the ugly, right? <laughs> they bring up the ugly. And how, whether it was how it ended or insecurities in the relationship, how you were treated, things like that. But actually with the twin flames coming together, this puts it on another level. You guys are meant to be saving the planet, doing missions of healing and helping others. Eight of Wands, this is suddenly a lot of communication and movement happening. And I love it because it's like after the holidays, even though we're a little late on that, we're still integrating that after holiday energy. This is things suddenly taking off with your manifestations. They are working. Someone says they're not working. It's actually what you're thinking about all day long. You've manifested and created your entire life, your entire reality. And most of you guys are probably about halfway done like me, right? So we're kind of still going. And it's life is like a continual river of your mind. And as you're flowing through it, it creates your outer reality and your outer circumstances. 
It's all about what you truly believe is happening. In order to shift our outer reality, we need to go in, heal, and shift our beliefs. Because if you're telling yourself a negative story about your twin flame or someone else, they're gonna play it out. So this is why you do have to actually heal your fears, doubts, and insecurities. Because if you're thinking something and it's a fear, it's gonna come up in the external with your relationships, especially with your twin flame. So we have this moon energy which is becoming more aware of the patterns coming up we couldn't see them when we were asleep suddenly becoming more conscious and aware of your thoughts but this is also clearing negative energy that's blocking your intuition you still have a lot of energy blocks for the masculine this could be clearing your um blocking your spiritual connection or even your intuition really needing to clear your energy so that you can tap into more spiritual knowledge deeper truths and even your connection with your divine feminine for those of you guys that are in separation, double down on the energy clearing work for sure. Um, and it will help to open up your own intuition more. We have this page of pentacles energy. This is like, once again, money coming up in the reading. And Venus deals with not just love, but money. So we have those themes coming up. And to find more balance financially. Have you been overspending or not making enough or not really putting your energy into yourself? Sometimes we're buying material stuff, taking care of the bills needing to put that within ourselves too so this is all about how you're spending money but also what you're learning within the spiritual too adding to your finances that if you're able to study and learn more and put your energy into yourself you're able to really blossom and bloom in your life as well too um, so a lot of you guys are needing to really put the inner work in to heal your love life and your finances we have sacral healing coming up in this masculine reading healing your finances through putting more resources into yourself energetically though, right? <laughs> um, and so it's like heart chakra work, inner child coming up. All right, I'm gonna go in the note anyways, but if you guys need me, I am around here today. I have special healings and activations up for today. Anything on my site you can do anyways. Check out the Twin Flame Healings in my website. They're gonna help shift your situation a ton, especially um, if you're needing it. Check out my website, sparksofdivinelighthealing.com. Check out the healings, the Twin Flame coaching that I do. And of course, check out, I teach classes like Reiki and Sakem on there.